Hi, it's Michael from Men's Finest and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we are talking about something super important which is how to dress for the first date. And don't get confused, I have been happily married for nine years now and I've been probably off dating scene for 15 years. But there are some style rules that we have to discuss because I've seen this time and time again and I had questions from you guys about dating and this style during the dates. So I think it's important to discuss this and make sure we are on the same page guys so you've got all the best chances to go to the base number two. I think that's what people call it. Or second date? I don't know. Don't let anyone tell you that how you dress doesn't matter because there is a strong set of do's and don'ts that I want to share with you right now. So you've done it. You venture into the battle royale terror sphere of dating. Don't worry, it'll be fun. And secure a first date. Good job, well done. But the weird work starts now. While a great meetup might still not guarantee you the elusive second date or second base or whatever people call this. Uh, that's where you dash in your good looks and uh, also amazing chatter blinds. Uh, these are for the second date. But first, you have to make sure that your outfit helps you because if you don't, you stand no chance. Sorry, but it's true. In a modern dating world, apparently, where the first impression are more important than ever. Here are the style, do's and don'ts to help you avoid the dreaded swipe left or whatever people do. Can are you, are you do that? Can you can you do that on a date? Can you swipe left on a date? No, can you? No, I don't know. Can you? Like what can you do? How, how do you tell people that you don't like them on a date? You just stand up and go? I don't know. Okay, don't number one. Don't wear a suit. Okay, there are caveats to this, of course, because if you have a job that requires wearing a suit and your first date is a few casual drinks after work, which probably it shouldn't be, just thinking about it, then you won't be able to avoid wearing one. But I would just leave the Prince of Wales check three piece on the least, at least, date number, um, I don't know. Six. So don't go full menswear bloggers straight away. No one likes to see that you're trying too hard. Think about your shoes. That's number two. Easily the most important element of your first impression outfit. What you put on your feet is huge indicator of taste of a man. Basically, it's a proven scientific fact backed up by many numerous cases. But if you wear square-toed caps shoes and I'm and honestly if I see you wearing one of those you, you there's no more Christmas cards because you are telling everyone that you're going to be rude nobody wants to be associated with you stick to clean white trainers smart and simple derbies or low-key um, sort of quality boots your footwear should make a subtle statement about the kind of man you are and we know by now that you're a stylish man, right? And as you know, of course I make a video about this. Click on the link here if you're watching this on YouTube or click that below if you're watching this on Facebook. I, I, I wouldn't be wearing a, a, a statement piece either, you know, because uh, sure be some people who greatly appreciate your, uh, you know, your, your, your Prada stuff, your collar shirt, your ripped uh, Saint Laurent jeans, your, your fantastic new Chelsea boots. Uh, from the designer in, in London, but for the best odds, securing second date, it pays to play safe. In early stages at least, which doesn't mean that you can't be stylish, I would actually say far from that, but stick with understated shades and quality pieces that fit you well, I've talked about it millions of times, and, the, and you're 100% comfortable in them. You can guarantee that your date will be more fussed about your body language and the way you're, you wear your clothes, rather than um, if you are, you know, involved in some sort of new season of Dolce Gabbana. Got it? And do pay attention to details, you know, how is your wallet? Um, what's your scents are, are like? Uh, you know, what you're wearing? I've made a video about some excellent scents here, all linked below. 
Did you floss? Did you uh, brush your teeth? Are you wearing a good watch? It is easy to let those little tiny things slide, but you want to be the kind of guy that she tells her friends about. The attention to details is a must, you know? You can be the best dressed guy in the room, but when you get a, a tatty Velcro wallet out of your pocket to split the bill, don't split your bill, then all of that good work you've done previously will be easily and quickly undone. One of the best parts about being a guy your age, and frankly there aren't many, so you should really take full advantage of it, uh -huh. is that you can rebuild your entire wardrobe with like 16 items. Credit card. Another pet peeve of mine, if you have got wallet that is like filled with credit cards and bills and driver's license and store cards and some other cards, Costa cards that you don't use, your wallet becomes like this, like a, like a big ham sandwich. Tr try to squeeze that in your pocket and we won't be talking again. Another one that's super simple is don't wear shorts unless you're going to the beach. But for Christ's sake, why would you go on a first date to the beach? And if you cannot live without a suit, go for unconstructed blazer. We suggested previously, scroll up and go back, um, that you shouldn't wear a suit on a first date. But that doesn't mean that all of the tailoring goes out of the window. You know, uh, maybe you should be more chilled about it. Uh, the whole thing is to feel her or him more comfortable around you. That's where the unconstructed blazer comes in. Great with chinos, great with wool trousers, uh, and every variation of a shoe, really. A slim, easy-fitting blazer without formal structure. Show care of style without the intimidation of fully blown three-piece <laughs> suit. And don't wear your lucky pants. I actually don't believe in lucky pants. Um, is that even a thing? I don't know. But if you're one of the person that needs this in order to feel more comfortable. Go with something um, of a darker shade, something that it's maybe um, not as branded, something that it's not screaming. Um, we hate to see your chances scuppered because uh, of those novelty boxes uh, from Christmas 2014. And yes, do put away your phone. I'm still not 100% sure why would you want to take a phone to a first date, but maybe that's the way you communicate with your date, that you're actually going to be there and, and you're on time. Maybe that makes sense. But stop using your phone when you're at the table. That is just a must. Unless you're waiting for an emergency call, stick it on silent. And you know, your Insta followers will understand. Guys, if you're on dating market, Watch this video, rewatch it again, rewatch it again, then let me know what you think. Please let me know in the comments below what you think about these do's and don'ts, and please include your own if you tried and you succeeded with some. Share them with others. Stay stylish. See you soon.